What is going on, Ham Fam? Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whoever is done watching this video. We are on the way home. We got 96 for Memorial Day weekend. We've been in the field all week. It has been raining nonstop, but we out there. So, about to head down to, I think it's Orem, North Carolina. It's somewhere on the way. And we're about to pick up some 20 inch Denali style wheels for Duramaxes and 37s again. We're just going to trade these 24s and 37s for them. Uh, not that I don't like these, but I've been on them for a while. And I really want more drivability again with the uh, 20s and 37s. And uh, hopefully I can find a pair of mud grabs for them soon. And uh, I think tomorrow uh, Caleb is going to help me uh, put my drop shackles on. I have two inch drop shackles I've been wanting to put in for a while. And uh, hopefully he can help me do that. And if it's a decent day, wash the truck, detail the truck. I haven't done that in a minute. But it's good to be making videos again. Love you guys so much. What is that? I'm interested. It's a Corolla. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is about to storm. It's a storm room, but... The last look on the 24s as you know it. We stopped at this pharmacy. It has a nice little awning, so hopefully it's not going to get too soaked. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start taking everything off for him so we can go and have a quick little process. I just witnessed history, boys. That U Haul truck over here just hit the curb. Time to draw a look. But here they are, boys and girls. Look at that. Nice, nice. We're gonna clean them tomorrow, but it'll be all right. Not bad. Yes, dude. All right, Hampton. Here they are. Just the stock 20. These are actually replicas, unlike the last one I had, where they were the 8x180, and I had the adapters. These are actually the replicas, and that hence why they're actually so much more chrome than the other ones as well. But uh yeah, I'm gonna scrub off the inside of the lip. It's a little dirty. I'm gonna do that today. Um, I actually bought the spin on transmission filter. I'm gonna do that. Haven't done that since I bought it, and I know that's shame on me, but uh I did get it this time. So uh pretty simple. Be expecting a video on this really soon. Um and I'm really trying to find somewhere to do the drop shackles, but since my truck is lifted, definitely gonna need a lift. But essentially all we're going to do is take that shackle right there, right back there, and we're going to move it up more so it brings the back end down just a little bit. So, uh, might not need a lift, might be able to tackle it myself, not sure, but uh, I dang sure don't want to get so far into it and then something happens where it messes it up. So, that's that. But yeah, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, like I said, these are like my favorite wheels. I'm gonna try and find some swampers or some mud grapplers for them. Probably 37 or 38 inches. Uh, drop a comment what size you want me to get. Okay, ham fam. So, right now, go ahead and change it out one of these light bulbs because I had a little tiny T10 LED over here out and it was actually held in by one of these. You know how it goes, cheap. Uh, eBay headlights. So uh, I didn't use the ones that I got when I ordered the top set as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to the back and get that. And while we're at it, we're just going to go ahead and change it out. So squeaky tailgate props. I think these are it right here. Grab these. Do, 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 do. So strong, I know. I know. I don't want to get jealous over here. All right. Okay. And if you haven't caught any Hamaco gear yet, uh, don't worry. Getting another shipment here soon. It's gonna be more simple. It's just gonna have no pocket tee, comfort color T-shirts. As always, though, I'm not gonna skip quality on you guys. I love these T-shirts as well. But it's not gonna have a big print on the back. It's just gonna have the logo with an embroiderment on it. And I'm gonna get red hats and then camo hats. That's the Dirty Max Mafia hat from JW that you always see me wearing. Uh, that style camo. 
So uh, yeah, be prepared. And also, I'm gonna try and make a website tonight. So that way, it'll be a lot easier for shipping to you guys and all of that. So, stay tuned for that. But here we are, about to go ahead and take this screw out real quick. And uh, well, I think I already, already loosened it up just enough. But yeah, so it wasn't reaching it, so I had to screw in right there. Yeah, I know, ghetto rig, it's okay. But yeah, so we're gonna take these out right here. Also, be prepared for a Lays Fit Auto Lighting uh, Fog Light LED upgrade. I have fog lights coming. And the really cool thing about these, if you double tap the fog light function on your vehicle, uh, fog lights are supposed to be yellow. Not sure if anybody knew that. It's supposed to be yellow, not white. And they cut through fog. So if you double tap the function on your truck or wherever you have with these new bulbs, it's gonna turn it yellow. And then you tap it again, turn it on and off, and it'll turn white. So make it look like an all white front end. And if you do come in contact with some fog you double tap it make it yellow see through the fog clear as day and uh yeah so review coming on that very soon as well when i get back to base probably wednesday hopefully we can get that out all righty and yeah so uh, one of these, like I said, one of these T10 bulbs were out, so I had to do that because uh, it was making it where uh, the right turn signal would hyper flash, and uh, don't want that. So now everything should be smooth sound. I'm gonna put this headlight back in, the grill back in, and then the uh, obviously the shroud on top. So let's get it. flash sweet deal thank you guys so much for watching this video i know it's really a pointless video but i just wanted to show you guys that i got the new wheels and tires again and i went back to my old roots i know i just had them and i know you're like what the heck but uh it's gonna be a lot more drivability plus i'm gonna be going to okinawa again for six months soon so i don't really want it sitting on a nice little setup when i'm gone so yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot more convenient to have them sitting on stocks. And uh, I think this is honestly my favorite wheel and tire setup for the size like some 24 by 14s, obviously. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Money long, but they money.